Okay, so now let's try a couple reactions that are a little more difficult. Here we have the combustion of ethylene reaction. We have C2H4 plus O2 reacts to form CO2 plus H2O. So we'll start by adding our variables. We have A, B, C, and D. And at this point, I'd like for you to pause the video and see if you can solve this yourself using the algebraic method. Okay, so now let's work through this together. We'll start with the carbon equation. So we have two carbons in the A molecule, so two A, none in the B. We have one carbon in the C molecule, and none in the D. So now let's do hydrogen. We have four hydrogens in the A molecule, so four A, none in the B, none in the C, and we have two in the D molecule, so two D. And now oxygen. No oxygens in the A molecule. We have two in the B molecule, so two B. We have two oxygens in the C molecule, so two C, and one in the D molecule, plus D. Okay, so now let's solve these equations. We'll start by setting A equal to 1, and then we'll use the carbon equation to solve for C. So we have C equals 2A. A is 1, so C equals 2. And now we'll use the hydrogen equation to solve for D. So we have 2D equals 4A. A is 1, so 2D equals 4. Divide both sides by 2, we get D is equal to 2. And now we'll use the oxygen equation to solve for B. So we have 2B equals 2C. C is equal to 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. Plus D, D is 2. So 2B equals 4 plus 2 equals 6. We can divide both sides by 2. B equals 3. So now let's plug in each of the variables and see if our equation makes sense. So A is 1, so we have C 2H4 plus B is 3, so 3O2 three reacts to form C is 2, so 2CO2 two two plus D is 2H2O. Two two so now let's check and make sure everything adds up. We have two carbons on the left and two carbons on the right. We have four hydrogens on the left and two times two equals four hydrogens on the right. We have three times two equals six oxygens on the left. Two times two equals four oxygens there plus two more there. We have six oxygens on the right. So our equation is balanced. 